Greetings everyone, and today I will have a power test of my Bridge IRS 2092 amp modules using this LLC resonant power supply. It's a 600 watts rated supply at plus minus 48 volts DC. You might be thinking how can it provide 600 watts despite its size? Well, this topology has very high efficiency compared to common flybox or two switch forward topologies. I'll put a link in the description below if you're interested. So first off, let me try it with a music test. So it's working properly with the supply, we can now proceed to the power test. So here's my recent DIY scope to use, set at plus minus 95 volts range. I'll start with the half bridge test, loading both channel with 4 ohms load. And just like before, the filtering of these boards is not that great. Here's clipping. So we have 25.3 volts RMS on its output. So 25.3 volts RMS squared divided by 4 ohms load. And we've got around 160 watts RMS at plus minus 48 volts with 4 ohms load. And this matches the data I provided from my first IRS 2092 video. Now let's proceed to the bridge output. So I connected this resistor to both output connectors here and powering it up and increasing the input volume. It seems like the amp has some kind of overcurrent protection. It's turning on and off with a max output of only 18 volts RMS. I expected this to happen to be honest cause most bridge setup requires high impedance loads, typically around 8 ohms. So I'm going to test it with 8 ohms load instead. Here's the load connected in series and powering it up. There's clipping. It's turning on and off here with a max RMS reading over 60 volts, probably because of the heat. So I'll just use an estimate here for the calculation. Let's say about 55 volts RMS. Square that, divided by 8 ohms load, and we've got almost 400 watts RMS at plus minus 48 volts into 8 ohms load at bridge setup. This is a lot of power already compared to common amplifiers, and majority of class D amplifier ICs will only able to get this at 2 ohms load. It's just unfortunate that it can't drive 4 ohms load. But still, if you don't know, 8 ohms load has a lot of advantages. And if you need to drive 4 ohms load, I recommend to proceed with half bridge instead with supply voltage of plus minus 65 volts DC. You can choose your desired voltage with this kind of supply since it offers a lot of options. So in conclusion, this board's setup will depend on your load impedance. If you have low voltage supply and a speaker with high impedance, bridging it will be the best option. But for forums load, I recommend to use around plus minus 60 volt supply and proceed with half bridge setup instead. Now about the output filter, you don't need to modify it because you'll not hear those switching noise anyway. So that will be all for now. You can ask questions in the comments below, give this video a like, and we'll do something else for the next one.